Hello everyone, Rory is here, back with Apture Tag, the developed commentary playthrough. Uh, now, so we're up to the last test chamber as far as I'm aware, as far as I recall, um, and and there's two ex uh, two uh, you know endings to this game. So what we'll try and do this is, is it, the cover last both of them. Chamber, the final picture, the maybe oh. not so grand finale. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're on like a moon-themed level this time. The previous one was just sort of space as far as I recall, but this one's definitely moon-themed. Um, yeah, let's listen to this note. Endings are hard to make. This ending is not about a test of a skill for the player, those were made before. The test of a skill was the escape sequence and the test of the mind in the previous chamber. The last map, however, focuses on the story side of the mod, by closing several arcs together. You obtain your Citranium, you learn about the cryptic codes in the secret areas, and you learn about Nigel's feelings towards you. The puzzle isn't hard to solve, but instead it is made in such a way to hint that there is more going on that you might have think at first. Right. I actually don't remember the actual ending of this game, so it'll be a surprise to me again. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I don't remember the solution to this uh, puzzle either. And of course I know there's a secret in this puzzle. I will try and get to it, but I'll try not to trigger the Why alternate is ending. So many structures are extremely fragile. I'm guessing someone from civil engineering is gonna get sacked soon. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah. The world shakes to let the player know that there is something going on around here. The wall falls down and they uncover arrows which point to the behind the scene area on top. Hopefully Drawing oh, a sense yeah. of exploration to the player to find out what lies beyond that, helping them survive in the end of the chamber. Hmm. Um. I know there's a secret, but I. Oh, wrong one. I just don't remember where it is. Sweet science! You have the bladder of a pregnant woman! Go do your business <laughs> and get back to the testing as soon as you are done. <laughs> Cryptic hint system. Thank you for participating. Is it the salvation thing again? That just like pasted over? I'm hoping that I didn't already trigger. Oh. Okay, I'm, I'm super curious now. Can I genuinely wall jump up this? Okay, no, I don't think there's anything really there. Okay, I was just curious. <laughs> I think that, if I'm not mistaken, that's the true secret ending. I'm just going to listen to the node that's over there from here. Having the player die at the end of the game is not new to video games. Mm. However, if done badly, it can feel cheap. My reasoning behind the first ending is that for Aperture, you were a great test subject doing everything you were supposed to do. And with you dead, the testing can continue with a new test subject. It's not a sad ending, it's a happy ending for Aperture. <laughs> so yeah, that, I've, I'll listen to these in order, right? Ending. One, the world. two, and then yeah, that's the third one. Cool. Alrighty, I, yeah, I believe that's the true ending over there. So, what we'll do is we'll continue from here. Uh, I'll probably save it. I think I can probably get to the ending after... Uh, after finishing the f normal ending, or no, after finishing the test chamber. So what I'll do is I'll I'll save it at right at the end and I'll come back. Um, yep, I'll grab this. Yeah, as he said, apparently this this chamber is not supposed to be the hardest chamber. Uh, so maybe. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just curious as to. I'm just gonna remind myself what's happening. Um, I always just like exploring the the rooms and having a look at what my surroundings are like. Having another escape sequence will. Okay, wait. This is five. Where's four? 
Is it out of order again? Ah, oh, screw it. Having another escape sequence will decrease the contrast and uniqueness of the first one. Plus, player will now know what to expect from it, it's all fake. That is why I chose to do an ending like the first Portal game. Having the player confined to a platform at some time limit and extra pressure. I balanced this by not asking the players to execute any tricky maneuvers. For example, initially you had to jump over the dead field up ahead. However, dying, restarting and trying 5 times to solve it just to possibly die at the end felt very cheap and unfair. Mm, which is why I decided I to that. just shut it off at the last second. Um. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay, wait a second, wait a second. Oh god. <laughs> oh dear. Get my box. Oh. Ah! <laughs> oh dear. I could get over to the secret ending, but I don't wanna. Well, I'm gonna go over just to see if. Oh god. <laughs> that was close. Is that legitimately the way you're supposed to get to the secret area? That might legitimately be how you're supposed to get there. <laughs> Let's just have a look. I'm curious to see if, uh, if, um, I keep wanting to call him Wheatley, if Nigel's gonna say something about it. Oh god, I failed. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna actually solve the test. Yeah, I, I don't know why that's there, and I can just take this box through these, can't I? Yeah. So... Brilliant! Now go ahead and get on the platform ride. But there's blue paint here. Hmm... So... That's problematic. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, I legitimately... I remember this level very well, like the layout and everything, but I do not... Oh my god, I'm an idiot, aren't I? I am so oriented towards the idea that uh, you have to... Oh, right. No, okay, so I wasn't, I, wasn't uh, I wasn't being dumb. I don't have orange paint when I'm in here. Okay. But I, what I can do is I can do... This. Oh, is it gonna reach? Okay, yeah, I think that did it. Okay, there we go. There. Just a quick exit. So yeah, so basically I've solved the test. It's very, yeah, pretty, pretty easy. In comparison to some of the previous ones, anyway. <laughs> um, so what I'll do is I'll just save it. Do a proper save. And then I'm going to return here once the... Oh, I, f I forgot I hadn't been over here again this time. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll come back to the save and do the secret ending. Okay, I'm just going to register that again. Um... I'm, I'm guessing that Having a nodes 4 and 6 are elsewhere, so... We are almost near the end of the test chamber now. Do not let me down. Ooh. <laughs> I was like, oh no! <laughs> my, yeah, my Citranium! Yeah! <laughs> he bounced all the way up the, um, pipe. He like bounced up the wall along with the pipers. Yeah, I think they start dropping them as you're moving now. So, oh, I'll remember to get that when I reach the end. I can't shed out too many details, but get ready. Aim and fire. Ah, lol. <laughs> and someone from industrial engineering will be fired too. Well, so long for a dramatic and grand finale. Ha 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 ha.
Just lots of citranium. Falls. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> all the cans, like the physics of all the cans. Uh, it's hilarious. Alrighty, now that I know what he's already said, we've seen what he said. Making a dramatic finale was giving me a headache. It turns out that there isn't much you can do limited to a platform with a paint gun. And it was looking like I would just have to put many turrets and have them there quickly spread them. That is not very much fun, so I just decided to just make a joke out of it, by having the turrets spawn badly and have Nigel complain about lack of any dramatic finale. And that concludes our testing. I must say, you were a great test subject. And I am deeply saddened by your fate. Oh, mm. I wish there was something I could do to save you, but you should know by now. Testing protocol. I've looked into it, and this one does have its good ah. reasons. So there's yeah, you don't have paint. Do now. I will always remember you deeply. You know, you were my first test subject. And that means a lot. Even to a simple personality sphere like me. Farewell, my test subject. Oh! There's this loophole that I can apply so that there's no reason for you to... die. <laughs> oh well, I guess I'll just pick another test subject at random. Test subject, will science add some heat and learn a new thing? For the people who are still alive. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, the Eugenia Roman was the main guy we were hearing from. There's a few other familiar names here as well. Valve as well, yeah. Several of which were the um, Action Tag developers. Sorry, I, Tag and Power Paint developers. <laughs> If anyone hasn't played this, they they should they should give it a try or or and or um, tag the power of paint, give that a try as well. Anyway, I think we'll. I wonder if. Um, I think this game doesn't allow you to load normally. I don't think there's no like load normal load option, which is quite annoying. Uh, so I will load it manually. Oh, that worked. <laughs> that was my first try. I don't have the save uh, folder open, so I, I couldn't see what the actual save file name was. So I just guessed at one, and I happened to choose correctly. <laughs> so cool. I think the we'd reached the end. We'd got the yeah, we got the end opened. Um, Having we'd listened to that, and we listened to the to um, Eugenio talking. That was node six of six. Uh, now we've only missed node 4, which I'm assuming is going to be in the secret ending. And then uh, we do whatever we can to achieve the secret ending. I have a feeling that like, when I played this last time, I didn't realize it was a secret ending. And I just assumed that the insta-death pit was, was the ending, was the only ending. And I don't know if I ever actually saw the secret ending. So this might be new to me. I will in definitely inform you if I have seen it though. Because, oh god. Okay, that's not how you do that. Huh. Maybe I bounce on this. <laughs> Logical, right? What's that? Something... The laser keeps, like... Oh, the laser... The box is sliding ever so slightly on the, on the orange paint. <laughs> that's funny. So, yeah, I guess I land on this. And then... Maybe? Nope. Ooh. God damn it. I started uh, moving the wrong direction, basically. 
I couldn't uh, move backwards at all. Sometimes. I seriously am. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. I wonder if this would make it easier. Okay. I don't know if the angle is quite right, but I'm going to give it a go. Let's give this a try. Yes! <laughs> I should just rely on my my knowledge of the way that tag puzzles work. <laughs> Manoeuvrement based puzzles. Oh, okay, here's the other node that we missed. The second ending is more rewarding, but it also acts more from the player, as they have to solve an extra puzzle to get behind the scenes. This ending is a reference to Portals 2 ending, where Chell drives an elevator to the surface. However, trying to stay away from Chell's storyline, as it is not up to me to change, I made the outside area different, so that it does not imply anything about Chell's ending. All you know is that while you survive, you are still trapped within Aperture Science. Right, okay. See, I, I don't remember this at all, so I'm, I'm almost convinced that this is... that I never actually saw it. Again? You did your business not so long ago. Why do you even bother with exploring <laughs> your surroundings? It's not like you're going to encounter a life-changing moment. <laughs> you don't know that. I need a hug. <laughs> oh, we get to see the the death area, the pit. This is oh, this is the opposite side. I actually saw this window while I was dying, and I thought, oh, I wonder if there's anything in there. I wonder if I missed anything special in here. Well, <laughs> oh no, I did see this. This does. Okay, this does ring a bell. Okay, that totally rings a bell. I must have seen it. I feel like this is probably important or relevant in some way. Um, so now do I just go about the normal ending? I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Now that you got that out of the way, we can go back and finish the test chamber. Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Please tell me it auto-saved. Got that out of the way, we can go back and finish the test chamber. Yeah, okay, interesting random fact. When I, the very first time I played Portal 1, I genuinely thought, <laughs> it took me a, a, a moment, but I genuinely thought that uh, going down into the fire pit was the ending, and the very first time I played it, I just accepted my death, <laughs> accepted my fate. <laughs> And then, of course, it respawns you, because you die, and then you just respawn at the previous save. And suddenly I was like, oh, oh, okay, I can, I can do something to not die here. And then I, yeah, found the true, the, the true part of the rest of the level. Ah, freaking box. Not working properly. I wonder. I can reach it from- No! <laughs> Yeah, so, so that the ending of this game is like what I originally thought the ending was an original portal. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm gonna go around the curve. That was dumb. Why did I do that? Why do I have these inst- <laughs> I just get this urge of like, I must do this dumb thing. Ah! <laughs> the way I did that jump just then, I did almost didn't leave myself enough blue to jump. <laughs> I almost fubbed it up again. We are almost near the end of the test chamber now. Do not let me down. Yeah. So I'm, I'm assuming, I'm pretty sure this is all the same. I can't 
shed out too many details, but get ready. Aim and fire! And someone from industrial engineering will be fired too. Well, so long for a dramatic and grand finale. And now I mustn't die from all the stranium cans they shoot at you. Only one got and caught on the platform that time. Testing. I must say, you were a great test subject. Uh, testing procedure says there should be a fire here, or you die, and that should have concluded the end of the test. Suddenly. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Although I am very glad you did not have to die. Give me a minute. Suddenly, this here is... Okay. So your personality fits those of a previous test subject. She almost blew up the whole facility and killed my boss once. So I have instructions to let you go to avoid any future problems. Go through the door. Uh, it's actually really cool. Um, but yeah, suddenly this door, I'm pretty sure there was rubble here before. <laughs> this elevator will take you to the surface. We won't meet again. This is it. Goodbye. You know, you were my first test subject. I will always have a deep place inside my gears. Farewell, my human test subject. <laughs> but your cryptic hint system. That's probably what it said in the previous one when I was reading it before and I didn't read it properly. Because <laughs> I just looked at it and like laughed. Alright. <laughs> yeah. All the turrets that uh, played GLaDOS out of the building. I wonder, yeah, I'm like immediately very curious about what I'm seeing. Was that test chamber relevant in some way? Citranium! Yeah, it's a similar but different. Um, they left you with the the paint gun, interestingly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I, I do actually remember that. <laughs> we won't look at the credits again. I'll skip through this. Alrighty, so yeah. <laughs> I, th I think that's everything from this game. I don't know if there's... Are, th are there any other modes in this? Mod options. Right, so that's just develop... Oh, the crosshair and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty well it. I think we've covered everything. <laughs> I mean, there are community test chambers, but I think there are plenty of other games that I need to, or, you know, need to find time to play. So I think I won't do community test chambers, at least for now. Um... I definitely always leave the possibility of those kinds of things open though, just because, I mean, I've, I actually haven't played any community test chambers for Aptia Tag, so there could be some really cool ones, there could, could be some really interesting ones. Uh, yeah, but nevertheless, that leaves this series completed. <laughs> if you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more stuff like this, other developer commentary, let's plays, you know, that kind of stuff, all of that good stuff, <laughs> then subscribe. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and as always, 